Ah, welcome to Madeline and Merrill's Midwest Brewing. We're back at the farm, not the funny farm, but the Forest County Pottawatomie Farm, and we're going to have a great time here today. We are. Mad Dog Merrill's Midwest Grilling with Fast Freddy on the keyboards. Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grilling. Brought to you by Pit Boss Grills, Griddles and Accessories, Louisiana Grills and Smokers, The Power of Wisconsin Potatoes, Sun Drop Soda, Cherry Delight, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Shooting Star Casinos, The Wisconsin Agriculture Tourism Association, and by Flash Pro Visual Communications. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we are the farmers not in the Dell, but at Forest County Pottawatomie at the farm here, just north of Wabino, Wisconsin. And it's been about a four year hiatus, hiatus since we've been here last. I know, I lied, I said it was about a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah look exactly. At time go. Well, I know, and it's, it's just amazing. amazing. The changes that have happened on this farm and the changes that will happen in the next four years are just a phenomenal thing. Mm. Uh, it's actually the mission is to provide a natural, sustainable source of vegetables, fruits, greens, fish, animal protein uh, to the tribal community and to others. And, and, mm. and, it, and they've just increased, it, like, they, they produce and they harvest. 1,400 to 2,000 head of lettuce every other week. Let every other begin. week. That's a lot of lettuce. Let us yeah. begin. I know, and they, they, do it, they do it through aquaponics. Now, aquaponics is a, a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. The sure. aquaculture is a, 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 an area of water with tilapia in it, about four to 500 tilapia sure. fish in there. The tilapia fish get fed. They produce, what you get fed, you have to release. So they fertilize, that fertilization in the water gets pumped through into the hydroponics, which creates an aquaponics combination, uh, and the lettuce gets planted in the hydroponics portion, but it's all aquaponics. It's a high efficient greenhouse with a soilless environment. It's just phenomenal. It's, it is. It's, it's beautiful little bibs of lettuce like this, 2,000 of those uh, every other week. Just amazing. That's a lot of lettuce. That's man. a lot of lettuce. That's and a lot and of it, gets it, gets, lettuce. it gets harvested through uh, Feeding America, Wisconsin, and it gets uh, from there it goes to a lot of the different tribes in Wisconsin, one of the, all the 11 different tribes of Wisconsin. Uh, so it's our mission today to help them out, to give them a little recognition and all the events that happen uh, that they do throughout the year. What's Good up, job. Freddie? This is not a pumpkin. This is actually a striped German heritage. This is a whole beautiful tomato. 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 Yep. Whoa. Potato, potato. It looks as meaty as you, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it today, not tomato. Hey, we'll have it today. Hey, hey Freddie. Do you want do you want to call your son? Do you want to call a Robbie? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, Robbie. Oh. You waited all day for I that. Did. He did. He <laughs> anyway, uh, we also have a mission that's to do a little grilling today. So we'll talk a little bit more about the Forest County Potawatomi good folks in just a little bit as we travel along here today. Uh, on the farm here, they have uh, 100 beef cattle. Uh, they got about 65 bison. I think the last time we were here, they had like five or six. Uh, it, was a, it was a small amount of bison. Now there's up to 65 bison. They got 50 pigs for harvesting and they got 150 laying chickens. Uh, so today, rather than a hot bacon dressing yep. and with a three sister salad, uh, we're gonna do the triple B. The we're gonna do B. the bacon, the bison, and the brisket. Great! Oh, oh man. So I, got a, I have a hot wok sitting on the, uh, the pit boss back here, a nice cast iron hot wok uh, sitting on, the, on there back there. And we're gonna take our bacon and I've already cooked up the, the bison. So I'm gonna take the, the bacon, toss that onto the wok, Behind that, I'm gonna cut up some brisket, add the onion to that, maybe slosh a little oil in there oh, if it needs it along the way. So we'll see what happens there. And Merrill, you've got, looked like you got some great looking hey, vegetables. Hey, do a little bit of cabbage casserole. I love cabbage. And this one is just absolutely great. We're gonna be doing it on, on the uh, griddle over here. But first of all, as you can see, we got some cabbage, got some zucchini, purple cabbage carrots. You gotta oil these babies first. Very important. You gotta make sure you got oil on this. And then we're gonna oil the griddle too so it doesn't stick on there. But add plenty of oil, make sure you got plenty on that. And the thing is for flavoring wise, what you wanna do for flavor wise, obviously I'm gonna start with some garlic pepper. Love garlic pepper. And there we go, as you know, Ooh. we add a lot. Everybody cuts back on their flavoring on seasoning. Bugs the heck out of me. You want flavor, you want seasoning on that. As you can see, we've got it on there. 
And then, of course, get a little W sauce, ladies and gentlemen. A little Worcestershire sauce. Add that all over. I love Worcestershire because there you get, you get a little bit of sodium flavor in there, salt in there for the flavor. Add that around. And as I'm cooking this, I will be adding more of some of this on here, too. So adding that on the cabbage, on the zucchini, put that on. Of course, you got to spice things up for any little hot sauce. And don't be shy of the hot sauce. Some people go, oh, that's too hot. That's too hot. This is a lot of cabbage. It is a lot. Not a lot of veggies over here, too, as you can see. And then we also got a little bit of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a balsamic vinegar that I put on there. A little W sauce, like that. Can I get these babies going for you? You can throw you? them on there, sir. Get those ready to cook, ready to grill. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Oh, Let that top up a little bit, add a little bit of butter on there. I'll stir those around, sir. We, got a nice, we have a nice going. group of uh, 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 good community members here for the Potawatomi folks. We have Victoria, the, el the elder in the, in the community right here to, with us today. That's Sean's son, Victoria. Vicki, she's with us here today in a great uh, tribal representation, so we do appreciate that. We got the bacon cooking away here. So I'm going to add the onions, the brisket, and the bison uh, that we actually is all pre-cooked. Excuse me, sir. Well, I'll tell you, we're both like working. Freddie, you must feel kind of guilty, don't you? So it's amazing, you know, at the farm here, they do a lot of different classes, like every Tuesday, every second and fourth Tuesday of each month, uh, they do a wonderful farm to table class. They do classes on canning, and they also have a freeze dryer uh, uh, so that uh, uh, they can preserve cuts, uh, uh, vegetables and stuff so they, don't, so they don't get wasted, you know what I'm saying? So everything, so it's sustainability, so things don't get wasted. So they do a great job here. So we got that cooking away. Now it's time to make the three sister salad. All right, I can't wait for that. Three sisters. We have the squash, we have the beans, and we have the corn. The three sisters, ah. if you will. The three sisters were inseparable and they grew together. The corn grows tall uh, uh, so that the beans can wrap themselves around the stalk and have a place to grow. This, the uh, squash grows and, and, and spreads its beautiful uh, uh, leaves to hold the moisture in the ground, nutrients from the beans. The whole sisters work together as a team, and that's what we're going to hear today. But the star of the show is that beautiful bib lettuce, that beautiful lettuce that we're going to create the salad Whoa. with. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to take a tad, tad bit of a break. I'm going to cut up this beautiful bib lettuce, and then we'll make the salad. We'll make all the dressings that go with it. So from the Forest County Potawatomi Farm, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling, join them on Facebook, by the way. Join them on Facebook. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Oh, man, you guys should check out the Hoop Greenhouses. They got, they got Brussels sprouts, they got carrots, they got corn, they got tomatoes, green beans. I'll tell you what, what a great, the whole greenhouses are phenomenal. What a bunch of compost. No, really, what a bunch of compost. Did you know that there's seven or eight acres of compost? They start out with wood chips back over here, yeah. and they add organic material to them, and they're making seven to eight acres of mounds of compost they're going to bag up and sell. Wow. Isn't that crazy? You know, remember yeah. where we filmed last time? Remember where the right. chicken yeah, came exactly up? Right, yeah, exactly where the buffalo Well, of course I did, yeah, yes. back over this yeah. way here, that's all compost now. Just amazing. <laughs> and with over 40 varieties of fruits and vegetables and the hoop greenhouses here, it's just a phenomenal thing. I mean, the progress that they made here is just unbelievable. It really, really, <laughs> honestly, goodness, I couldn't believe it. They got a gorgeous uh, uh, farm store, and it's open Monday through Friday, 9 until 5. And, it, and it, it's, it's farm grown produce, it's meats, it's uh, their own beautiful uh, maple syrups and honey and all those gorgeous vegetables here that are in there. There's also some great uh, indigenous owned businesses and artisans and they got gift cards and, and custom baskets that they can make for you. It's just, a, it's just an amazing, when we first beautiful. walked in we couldn't believe it. No, that's true. A, a beautiful, beautiful farm store. I recommend everybody coming here. In fact, in the fall, uh, this show is airing for the first time uh, in September, mid-September. The month of October, you guys are in for luck. They have the fall fun at the farm every Saturday and Sunday in October. And it kicks off the first weekend. It's open to the public. They got uh, wagon rides. They got corn wow. mazes. They, I know they got the hay mazes for the kids. 
so they don't get lost in the corn maze. Well, I ain't going to there. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> they got the hamster wheel. They got yard games, the apple launch. It's just a phenomenal thing. And the last Saturday of October is always the Halloween fun with trick or treating. And, yeah, and so, so you great. have to go to Forest County Potawatomi, uh, Google that, or join them on Facebook to learn more about that. I got to make my. Well, I'm going to put some butter on my. Uh, you forgot the butter? I forgot the butter. You know me, I forget everything. A couple Please. little tabs of butter. A couple of tabs, man. You got A it. pound and a half of butter. We'll there put we a go. pound and a half Start of butter on there. On. I'm going to quickly make my salad here, the three sister salad. <laughs> uh, once again, the beautiful lettuce. I'm going to put some mitts on here. And Did I he say two sisters? What's that? You said two sisters. Three sisters. <laughs> <laughs> he was minus one there for a while. <laughs> Robbie called back and he said, <laughs> make sure it's three sisters. <laughs> and every, uh, there's tours every Wednesday uh, from June until October, by the way, free walking tours. Uh, here's a great way to do their yellow squash, uh, 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 especially for salads and stuff like that. I always try to use a grater. And it, Freddie, would you grate this? Sure. Oh, hey. What's that? Hey, eight. 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 You gave me an eight. I gave you an eight. Freddie would have gave me a ten if you'd have let him. <laughs> right, Freddie? So we're gonna grate the rest of the zucchini here. This is the yellow squash. We got the nice pinto beans there. Oh, it's gonna be good in there. It's gonna be just absolutely delicious. We're Look gonna put at that. Bib Beautiful. Over here. Put that in the bottom of the tray. We're gonna do a little layered salad, if you will. I've got the corn pretty much off the husk. That's nice fresh corn from the gardens here at Potawatomi. So we're gonna layer the first one of the sisters. All three of them. <laughs> uh, beautiful fresh corn on top of there. Nice. Uh, we'll put those nice little pinto beans over the top of that. That's the protein. Of course, we got a lot of protein in the in the in the dressing, don't yes, we? Yes, do. Yeah, yeah. We got the we got the bison, we got the brisket, and we got the bacon. The three B's of barbecue. I love it. That's going to be good. It's, it's going to be gonna absolutely be really delicious, good. and we're really not ready. I am to... excited with the three B's. <laughs> Should we get your cabbage going now? Let's get the old cabbage going there. I'm gonna go make a little sauce, add a little gravy sauce for it. Sort of a little bit of half and half. Ooh, get a little, little slosh in here. Huh? Little, got your little slosh in, Freddy. Have a live till you gotta, you gotta slosh once in a while in life. There you go. A little beef broth. You gotta eat the M&M's first. Nope, nope, <laughs> you leave the M&M's empty out. You gotta eat the M&M's first. is that your M&M container? <laughs> Well, you had to finish M and M's. I did. I did. Well, I'm trying to, you know, oh, trying Merrill. to recycle things. You got to oh, use them. Well, you would do that at home for the team. For the yeah, team. Yeah, that's right. All right. Before I had my garlic, I'm going to add my beefy onion dry mix here. So, so Merrill always made, and this is a larger combination. of Merrill always made a drip pan with shredded up cabbage, with the butter, with the onion soup mix in there, with beef broth. Beef broth. So or you're doing the basically the same thing. Always. Same thing. Got some garlic. Yep. Gonna be good, gonna be good. Okay, we got some flour, got over that. Uh, more heavy with the flour. Yeah, I go heavy with the flour. What do you think? You think I'm okay on yeah, that? Yeah, I got the beef broth in there. You got, got the, the beef creamer. broth in there. I feel that's pretty dang good. Okay, here we go. There's no carbonation in there, is there? No. Oh, boy. Shake that been, baby up there. Carbonation. Been there and done that before, I've been there and done that too. It's just like making you drink, Freddie. What do you think? What do you think? Ready? <laughs> now, is that for Freddie's piano playing again, for God's sake? <laughs> All right, let's drizzle that over the top and I'll do a little stirring. All at right, the same sounds time. good, sir. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. What a job, Meryl. <laughs> oh, there. So that deep broth. That's okay. All right. I want to know what happened to the M&Ms. <laughs> they were good, Freddie. They were good. I tried to leave you the yellow ones, but I ate them anyway. Uh, I didn't want any W's, so. <laughs> so, so on the Potawatomi farm here now, they're up to tapping about 100, uh, 1,100 different taps. And they got a two-year-old sugar camp that's just phenomenal. Uh, so they got the best maple syrup in the world, I'll guarantee you. Okay, my hot bacon dressing, is that that's baby cooking good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Go yeah, we're going to shove that baby over the heat back again. And we're gonna we're gonna thicken up our drink. Have, have you guys ever made a hot bacon dressing before? Yes, I love hot bacon I, dressing. Have you ever yeah. made one before? No, I leave that up to Kathy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some maple syrup and honey, maple syrup and honey in mine. 
Uh, we are going to add a little bit of jarred garlic in there. All right. Now it calls for apple cider vinegar, and I always use it. But I think what we're going to do is I don't think I need my mitts anymore. We're going to squeeze a little lime in there. Okay. Instead of the uh, instead of the uh, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Does that make sense? I like it. Oh, yeah, it's done good. Well, on this good. side here, I'm. I know, but look at that. Pretty flabby on this side. You better, you better squeeze them on this side well, here. I'm, I'm, I'm 42 years old. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh oh. And I'm 45. Really? <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, for gosh sakes. Let's add They're a little apple cider. They've got tough limes there. Yeah, we'll add a little apple cider. <laughs> okay, so we normally add sugar in there. So we got the yeah. honey and we have the, uh, the maple syrup from All the right. farm. I've got cornstarch, and I don't think I want to add oh, all that cornstarch. Yeah, I don't think so either. And, uh, but I'm going to add guess. a little bit of mixture of both, because that's how I make my gravy, is a little fuller okay. with that, too. And we'll cap that baby off. We're not done with our salad yet, by the way. We're gonna He's not food. done, everybody. He's not done there. So we're going to thicken up that dressing. That gets laid over the top. Okay. And we're not quite done with that. All right. Looks good, though. Does it? Where's my spoon? <laughs> my wooden spoon. You can always have a spoon when you're stirring. Fingers Excuse me. Hot. Excuse me. Excuse I'm me. sorry, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's going to oh, be okay. Oh, yeah, you're going to be good. Oh, man. Be fine. Oh, yeah. Thick. Very, very thick. So we're going to heat that up. I, I feel like we're, we we got so much going on, it feels like there's more to do, but I think we're uh, pretty good. We're going to make the salad, finish the salad off coming up next uh, thing coming up here. You know, from, 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 thank you, Freddie. From our good friends at Forest County Pottawatomie Farm, just north of Wabino. Join them on Facebook. Yes. Matt Larry Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Mad Dog Midwest Grilling. Well, today it's Forest County Potawatomi Farm. Tomorrow it might be the funny farm. We don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> Mad Dog Merrill and Fast chance. Freddy, I'll tell you that. Hey, let's take our nice little dressing off. All right, sounds and good. I, and I, as I remember dressings going, I think it's because we have a lot of protein in here. Uh, we have the beautiful bison that, from the farm. Uh, we've got the bacon and we have the brisket, mm. uh, which is smoked ourselves from the beautiful 110 plus or 60 some plus uh, cattle that they have. Anyway, it's a little thicker than I thought it was going to be, but you know, that's life. So we're going to put yes. it on top of our, 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 our salad. Okay. And it turned out just absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. Right. So we're going to put that on top of our salad. Wow. I know, hey, 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 we got protein. We got I protein. love protein. Yeah, yeah, people <laughs> love protein. I got, I got the worst scoopers in the world. Not you guys, oh, but okay. in case... I'm this... talking about this pretty well. No, not this time. In this case, it's just me. <laughs> well, for no, goodness sake. you good. Watch this. That's hotter. Here, you want me to get that? No, 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 I'm all good. All right. And then on top of there, we have beautiful uh, uh, blackberries, black caps. We got blueberries, got some walnut, sunflower seeds. And over there, all top of that is some fresh mint from my mint garden. And uh, boy, on the farm here, I was told he got some beautiful yellow raspberries. And we could have used the yellow oh. raspberries on top of there. But we'll put the blue, oops, get those spread out, put the blueberries over the top of that. You ready to should we scoop a little bit of your, 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 your. your yes, your, sir cabbage mixture so we'll get some walnuts over the top get some sunflower seeds we got some nice protein <laughs> and over the top of that some beautiful fresh mint gonna give us some great little flavor so we kind of hid the three sisters a little bit but that's okay can we scoop that baby yeah you're doing pretty good Merle I don't care what Freddie says about yeah, you yeah Freddie mm -hmm. yeah good job good job oh man that smells delicious it does we're going to place that where it's going to be hot. I'm going to move that. Place that right there. That's going to be good. So don't forget, don't forget coming up at, uh, is fall fun at the farm. It's in the October. It's every Saturday and, and Sunday in October. It's open to the public. I say open to the public, that's for sure. They got wagon rides. They got the corn maze. They got the hay, uh, hay maze for the kids. They got a slide there from hay to hamster wheel to apple launch. Whoa. Great things happening. And at the end of October comes the trick-or-treating, the last Saturday of October That's the comes out. But but I can't wait to see what the expansion of the aquaponics that are gonna happen. Just amazing. They're gonna do uh, tomatoes and cucumbers coming up. 
uh, in a little bit. We're doing aquaponics on that. And uh, that's all I've good. got to say. How about you, Red Merle? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm ready to dig in. We and got eat. some it nice folks great. here from the from the community. So, Mad Dog and Merle's Midwest Millie, we'll be right everybody. back to wrap this video up in just a moment. Have a great everybody. Oh yeah, pretty boy. Welcome back to Mad Dog Midwest Grill, and I'll tell you what, we had a lovely time here on the farm. We're going to do a little scooping of Merrill's gorgeous cabbage. We got the Three Sisters layered salad, which absolutely looks delicious. You too can take advantage of all these fresh fruits and vegetables by coming to Forest County Potawatomi at the farm. Take advantage of the nice You gotta little come out, you gotta come out. It's just it's a unbelievable. gorgeous store. That farm store is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. It, it is. really, really is. I'm gonna get my wall down and do a little shopping in just a moment. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill, we're having a great time here today. All right. Thanks for joining us. Oh, looks good, looks good. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.